schedule on the over. It might be gone in three hours. <laughs> right right oh man, every time. <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> slutty. Oh man. Oh, you gotta pick your life oh, up, bro. Man. Yeah, that's bad. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Hardcore and the Casual Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. I am joined by our champion, Tyler, who is now bleeding from the leg, <laughs> and our challenger, Jake. We have all of our predictions for AEW All In right behind us. Our prediction video was last week, if you guys want to go watch that. There's also a quiz that comes with that. But we're going to be sitting here watching this, reviewing this. And, and and at some point we are going to give our predictions for Bash in Berlin too. At some point during this, we'll just give our predictions. Maybe at the end, once everything is over, we'll just quickly run that down. Um, for now, we're just gonna watch, see how this goes. Uh, right now, we've already watched two the the trios title match where I won with BCC and. Uh, uh, Tony Storm versus Mariah May. Mariah May won, which I also got, and Tyler got. So right now, I'm in the lead. Tyler's in second. Jake's in last. Are you confident this time, champ? Or yeah, you confident every time? Pick no. up your legs. Mark your territory. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of bleeding on my carpet at this point now. No, I was nah. gonna say like mark your territory. It's not that piss bad. on the carpet. Don't piss on my carpet, please. Don't I'm, piss I'm on not. my carpet. Piss on I'm your not, wound; I'm it'll not, heal it. All right, but yeah, we're we're watching AEW. We're gonna be chilling out here. It's a little hot, but uh, we'll be fine, right? BT Dubs. It's not like uh, SummerSlam. Yeah, they SummerSlam did, was a fucking. They didn't sauna. cut the sandwich. Oh my god. Oh man. I'm so mad. All right. Well, we'll come back when anything big happens. We'll be reviewing the show, so stay tuned. Hook wins. All right, three. Thank two, God, one. Hook won. This has been a long time coming. Thank God, he won. He should have won the first time they fought. Helped this him, was nope. BS. That wasn't his father on the outside of the ring, in the black suit. Him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. That's his father. He put. Yeah. I desperately need a young bucks victory right now. All right, so next up we've got Young Bucks versus FTR versus the Acclaimed for the tag team titles. Who do we all have? I think you guys, yeah, you guys both have the Young Bucks. I got Acclaimed. It's been a long time since the Acclaimed have been tag champs, so I really want them to get another run, and both of these other tag teams are kind of overdone at this point. I mean, both of them have like eight title runs each. It's really getting ridiculous at this point. Who is that team... Uh, that was unannounced that you chose. Oh, that was the the Blackpool Combat Club. It oh, was okay. Claudio Castanoli, Wheeler Yuta, and yeah. Pack, and they ended up winning. So yeah. I I picked wisely of the random. Does this theme song not sound like Goldust so, old theme? Or like not Stardust? Really. It sounds like Stardust really? theme. The young Bucks look like bad porn stars. Scissor me, daddy. This wouldn't work in WWE. <laughs> Scissor me, daddy. Come on, do it. Scissor me. Scissor me. Why don't you scissor me? I've never done it. I won't ever do it. Jake, scissor me. Jake, come on. Will you scissor me? She scissored me. Uh, Let's fucking go. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to pop out soon. The Young Bucks retain their title. September. Yes, sir. Me and Justin are tied up. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Let's fucking go. All right, so now it's three. Three, 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 one. Three, three, two. Oh, you had one? Three, three, two, yeah. Three, three, two. We got a tight race. (laughs) Fucking EVP my ass. This shit's getting fucking old. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Who's this? Who are these guys? Why does this guy look so familiar? On the on the the guy in the white. Do we want to just not predict anything right now? Yeah, no. Well, we can't. I mean, we stuck with Orange Cassidy. I'll stick with Orange Cassidy on my prediction. Well, there's no point because we're all gonna break it. All right, anyway. yeah, we're probably just all going for Orange Cassidy in this match. He's the only one getting a hype package. So yeah, we'll just stick with Orange Cassidy for this Casino Gauntlet ladder match. Is it a ladder match? It's usually a ladder match. I don't know if it is this time. It might just be a regular gauntlet match this time. But the winner gets a title match. I don't remember his name. What the fuck? Get up. 
He's actually like genuinely pissed off about that. That was funny. He's like, get off of me. I just need a swab no. of your blood. What? For your clone. I want to lick your blood. I want. I want to be blood brothers. I want to have children together. That's crazy. Oh God. That was crazy. But what if I'm serious? Though? I'm not. I, I'm gonna get a restraining order. You gotta love the hands in the pocket. It's so dangerous, but yeah. yeah it dangerous hurts for his opponent. No, it hurts his <laughs> momentum. Here we go, next guy. N who's up next? Who is this? I don't know. Nigel McGuinness? Who no way. Who the fuck is this guy? This guy retired like freaking 14 years ago. And he said he'd only come out of retirement to fight Brian Danielson, but I guess he's coming out <laughs> anyways. Maybe Brian Danielson's next, I don't know. So th does that mean Brian Danielson's going to win the match? Nah. And we could see this guy win? But him and Brian Danielson were like best friends back in the day. Where did he wrestle 14 years ago? AEW wasn't a thing. Mm, yeah, Ring of Honor. Oh, uh, well, uh, okay. Match of the night already. <laughs> Nigel McGuinness is here. I wonder if you like Skinner Spear. Who does he fear? That was a good slap by the Pioneer. I think it's just first pinfall wins this match, too. I don't think it's, like, elimination or anything. I think it's what just... What if they pin somebody and then, like, there's four more people that's, like, I come out, they're like, oh, fuck. They win. Kyle O'Reilly. He looks like freaking Justin Gaethje. Yeah, I was just gonna say that shit. He looks like Justin Gaethje. Throw, throw him over the top rope. Get him out of here. He looks like Justin Gaethje mixed with Mark Zuckerberg. I want to see Snitsky in this. And Chavo. Chavo Guerrero. Ooh, Chavo. Dude, if I heard that, I'd start jumping up and down. <laughs> You'd go nuts. <laughs> I'd go nuts. I think anybody would start going nuts. Ooh, Chavo is like our start to wrestling, too. It's like Ooh, Chavo and the Great Kali. Who is it? Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, okay. We got Zack Sabre Jr. in the house. He just let himself yeah. get uppercut. <laughs> he just let him. He, just said, he's, he said, yeah, okay. He said, oh, do it again. Oh, oh do yeah. it again. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my God, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, hit me oh. one more time. One more time. One, oh, oh. oh no. Nope. <laughs> Reversed. Mark Briscoe. He's not winning. <laughs> no? No, he's not winning. <laughs> no shot. No shot. No shot. Zero percent shot. Love him, He's but no shot. Cowboy Adam Page? Yeah, it's the hangman. No way. He looks mad. Why does he look so mad? Jeez. <laughs> he might win. He looks like he's trying. Yeah, now I've got him. Yeah, Rick it's Ricochet. It's Ricochet. Oh, shit. Uh, can I put oh my, my money God, on Ricochet him? Oh, my God, Ricochet is here. Can I put my money on Ricochet? Oh, well, shit. Well, they oh. Did you not see that Poor he Samantha debuted? Samantha Irving. Huh? Did you not see he signed with them? He signed a multi-year no, deal I, with them. I don't check in on stuff like that. I didn't think he was going to be, like, on tonight. I had no thought. Oh, my but God. Ricochet is here. He signed a multi-year deal with AEW. I feel bad for Samantha Irvin. Okay, I've got my money on either Cowboy, Ricochet, or Orange Cassidy. I'm putting it all. I'm putting the I'm house on Ricochet. Rick I'm putting the house on Ricochet as I'm well. I'm putting the house. Because I want Ricochet to win. If he doesn't win, I'll be pissed. Well, remember, the the winner gets a title shot. Would they really give him a title shot right on yes, his, like, yes, first? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Fuck it. <laughs> the pop he got, the energy he's bringing. Yes. That's what I hate. They give everyone title shots right away. Mercedes Monet came in, won the TBS title the first month. Big Okada WWE. Came in, Okada came in, won the, the Continental Crown the first month. Fucking Will Ospreay came in, won the international title the first month. Why does everyone that come into AEW just instantly get a title? Like, build it up a little bit. Give us some storyline. Don't just give them the title right away. They do that oh, every single time. here he goes, time. over the top rope. But WWE didn't use Ricochet enough. Bro. No, they, they didn't. I agree him. with you. Yeah, and they, I think that yeah. he'll be way better used than AEW. But, like, why do they give everyone title opportunities right wow. away? Shit. Um, Christian Cage? Christian already wrestled earlier tonight. He already wrestled. Now I got my money on Christian. <laughs> No, nah. You actually, nah. I don't know. If his patriarchy come out, then maybe. Redneck kung fu. It's gonna go through all the the fighters, all the wrestlers, We're and each then gonna do the their last. Finisher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the last guy is gonna get it. 
another person. Yeah, there's there's still more people. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. He's going to turn on the Christian. He's got to turn on Christian. Why does Christian not look happy? He's Is supposed to be called Kill Switch. Pin him and win. Just pin him and win. No way. I thought that's exactly what he was going to do. He's going to do that. I told you Christian was going to win. As soon as I saw Christian, I was just like, oh, Christian's going to win. Wasted a spot with Luchasaur. This whole match went to shit. Fuck this. Look this whole Cowboy. match went to shit. Let's go. It's my goat. It's my goat. MJF, my favorite wrestler of all time. Why is the crowd not like popping right now? Because he's the heel fighting the guy from the hometown. Will Ospreay is from England. I know, he's still MJF. Though. They are popping for him. <laughs> they're, they're definitely popping for Yo, him. Yo, who's the American champion? He's the American champion. He's my American oh. champion. They are sausage warfare. I don't know what I said. He's nailed all the That's your fucking way off guard. Why does that have to have his ass away from the camera? Oh my god. Fuck. I didn't catch the mayo sausage warfare comment. So, how much did we miss? Like, what, 40 minutes or something? The whole match. Oh, 20. All right, well, we lost some audio there for a minute. We're back now. I probably, I don't know what I did. I probably used the audio from the camera. Um, so you guys might have still heard some of it. It might have been bad audio quality for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. My computer just crashed on me for no reason. I don't know what happened, but it's we're crashing. back now. Who is that? Is that Kyle Fletcher? Ah, oh, Daniel Garcia. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do it. Come on, Daniel. Do the thing. Do the thing. Tiger driver! No! Oh, no. That looked like it hurt. Come on, ref. Yo, that looks wild. Yeah, it does. One, two. He's kicking out. Three. Oh. Let's go! Oh, no. I'm done. Oh. I love MJF, but I had Will Ospreay for the prediction, so I was ha going to be happy either way. Got here. Check. X. Another X. one week run. <laughs> Another one week run. Yeah, so. I think it's already Dover. He Tyler can't. is eliminated. He can't win because and me so and Tyler have the same picks for the rest of it. And so am I. So you're a champ. Alright, hand it over, motherfucker. <laughs> well, you and I could tie. I think. Like yeah, that. you and I could tie. How? Because if you get if you get Sasha and Brian Danielson, then you'll have four, and I'll only have four. Really? Well, we'll both have, depending on Darby Allen, we both have yeah, Darby yeah, Allen. Way. Really? So you and I would tie oh, if I'm you get alive. if you get if you get Mercedes and Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson, then you and I tie. You're already eliminated. Because you and I have the same picks for the rest of it, and I have one more than you, so congratulations on another one week reign. What was that? Two runs? <laughs> two one week uh, yeah, runs. Yeah, two right? one week runs. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, congratulations on your title. Victor. So early in it too. <laughs> but congratulations, Tyler. You, you no shake, no. no handshake, no, no. no? Sportsmanship all the way. We love you, Tyler. We love your title aspirations. <laughs> Tyler's like, why did I even come? I could have been on this podcast ever. Why did I, I could have stayed at home. Hey, well, you get a shot to win it back next week at Bash in Berlin. Oh, next up is Mercedes Monet versus Britt Baker DMD. That means that Darby Allen is the co-main event. He's definitely gonna do some stupid shit. He's got to do some stupid shit. All right. They're going to be like, go out there and try and break every bone in your yeah, body. Yeah, really. Mercedes Monet versus Britt Baker DMD is next. Who, Depending on who wins this, basically decides who wins the predictions. 
You need you need Mercedes to retain. I do. You need it. We'll see. Yo, what is this entrance for CEO? I I, I can't stand her. She keeps biting her lip. I don't know why. It's because she's looking at us. She's looking at me. No. no. <laughs> I hate this. I yeah, hate I do, her. I do too. She's so irritating to me. This I don't know. This is cringe. This is cringe. She's very irritating to me. You're just mad because you're not the CEO. I'm mad because I'm not the champ. COO. I'm the CEO of the Hardcore and the Casual podcast. Does that count for anything? You're also yeah, the creative the team. You're also, <laughs> you know, you're a little bit of every bit of behind the scenes. And I'm the the future world champ, right, Jake? Dude, I'm eating this shit like a slob. At least you're eating. Shit is banging right now. At least you're not about to lose your title, but haven't lost your title yet. But you know what's coming. <laughs> if we Darby, tie, we, we have we not do? had a tiebreaker. What do we do? I have no clue. We have not had a tiebreaker on this channel yet. So I have no clue what we would do. CEO. 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 We're not doing this. CEO. We're not doing this. I'll go CEO. home. I lost. I'll go home. CEMD. I don't need to be CEMD. here. CEMD. CEO. <laughs> That's what you get for sitting in the middle every time, buddy. You chose that seat. I no, never I, forget that. I showed up here and this was <laughs> here. You asked for that no, seat a long time ago. That water Malone. That water Malone will change your life, brother. Change your life. How do you get your hair so long and luscious? How do you get it so long and like... You just let it grow. Can I touch it? No. You let him touch it. I didn't let... Let is a strong word. Just like you're letting me touch your leg. No. No, I'm not. You let me drag my hand down your leg, down your shin. I still need some of that blood for the DNA sample. No, you don't. <laughs> He's such a weirdo the way he says it. Yo, for that DNA sample. We'll just make a Tyler clone to sit there instead so you don't have Maybe to come to any of better. these. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Tyler got his colonoscopy yesterday, and it didn't go well. It did not go well. He has, I don't even know about we had to pick him. We had to pick him up. We had to clean him up. We still we had to set down a towel underneath him. He's yeah, currently sitting like, on a it towel was, it was just like in case there's dog. leakage. It's like driving with a puppy. How's your leakage, Tyler? <laughs> oh, that's a crazy question. His <laughs> is like this wide. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And that was before the colonoscopy. <laughs> you can only imagine what it is now. <laughs> like throwing a hot the minivan. dog down a hallway. Giving Tyler the minivan. Yo, <laughs> 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 I've never seen that before. <laughs> what has this podcast become? It's all right. No one likes I to talk about colonoscopy. I hope the glove wasn't that red like that glove. Then you got a lot of bloody problems. Oh my God, Sasha Banks is putting on. I'm next. My, <laughs> my exam's next. <laughs> or like uh, Alice, Alice in Wonderland. The title. Plus, I don't like you. I do. <laughs> I clown you just as much. Maybe even more. I think you love me. I don't think he liked that you called out that his asshole was wide before the exam. <laughs> it was. And that's my. How issue. do you think I know? One. Two. Fuck! Come on, the Jake. Way, I'm rooting for you. Fuck. I'm rooting for you, Jake. Let's I go. hate her. Let's Get go. this title off of her. You brought her in the company, gave her the title in the first month, and now she's just fucking the goat? Like, what? No. Why this did it end like that? It was so, like, uneventful. She just, like, did, like, a few moves, and I thought she was going to kick out. Imagine he fell off and busted his ass. That would have been so funny. That'd be so Darby Allen. <laughs> He's 4 and 0 in coffin matches. There would be Titus O'Neil. He almost just fell climbing up on those ropes. What the hell? Why does he have thumbtacks glued on his face? Dude, if he hits his face, that shit's gonna hurt. Bruv. <laughs> Alright, so how long until Darby Allen tries to kill himself? 30 seconds. Oh, nope. Five seconds. Not even. Match hasn't even started yet. Negative, negative two seconds. <laughs> so... Darby Allen's one of those guys that just doesn't give a fuck about his doesn't body, Doesn't right? give a fuck. He's the new Jeff Hardy, and I think he enjoys it. I think he likes it more than Jeff did. 
Yeah, I feel like Jeff Loki didn't like it. He just uh -oh. did it because it was his thing. Yeah, make it a Darby little Loki easier. Darby Allen just doesn't like his spine. That's why he tattooed his spine on the outside of his body. He's like, I don't need the one on the inside. I hope it's broken glass, and I hope he says cry about it. Thumbtacks. It's broken glass. Cry about it. One year to the There's day. No way, bro. One year. Since what? He did it last time? That was the reason him and CM Punk got into a fight. Broken glass? Yeah, because he used real glass in a match, and CM Punk was like, why are you using real glass? And then he was like, cry about it. He literally said it on live TV. He said, cry about Jack it. Jack Perry? Yeah. And then CM Punk was like, he confronted him in the back, and then they got into the fight. If I was a wrestler, I'd just never bring anything into the ring. Does he have glass in his back? Oh! Oh my god. Skateboard to the back. Is he starting to bleed? Yeah, he's starting to bleed. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, dude, dude. They're like, it's like microscopic, too, bro. That shit's like all over the place. That's why this is the second to last match. Yeah, I knew from the beginning these two were going to try and kill each other. Oh, he's tying up his legs now, too. No way. Damn. Darby Allen is no longer that was undefeated not, in coffin matches. That was really not that cool. Yeah, it wasn't that crazy. That was, the, both of these last two matches have been kind of anticlimactic. Oh, so they're going to light it on fire now. Sting? Uh, fuck Sting. Sting? Probably. Yeah. It's Sting! You got that shit perfectly. No, oh, really, he does it every... He's done it since... Yeah, he's Darby been doing Allen's that guy. same thing since 1989, so... And that's Darby Allen's guy, right? Aren't they like buddies? Yeah. yeah. DB. 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 He's not DB anymore. He's BD. 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 Give me that leg. Give me the other one. What the fuck is happening? Out. No. Like that is starfish. not happening. Nah, yeah, he might start leaking. Oh, shit. I'm not getting that on me, bro. I'm not contracting none of your shit, bro. Can we get some volume on this thing, dude? Alright, we got Brian Danielson versus Swerve Strickland. If Brian wins, Jake and I tie. If Swerve wins, I win. So I like, want my title back. This might be his final match ever. Hey, to be fair, I thought his final match ever was like 10 years ago at this point. When he now, broke so. his neck? Yeah, so he's retired like twice at this point already. So I'm just glad that we got a couple extra years out of him. Yo, what if BD wins and then just vacates it right there and retires right now? I've done everything now, you know, I won the title, I don't even need to retain That's it. That's what I would want to do, I'd be like, I'm retiring as champ, motherfucker. I hope to God it doesn't happen. What, like that? Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to have to have a tiebreaker. You won't. I'll just retain. There's no, no that's not how it works. There will be no You problems. were eliminated. What are the odds Bree gets involved? It's possible. Can I put a wager on it to get me back in here to tie? <laughs> no. Hell no. You're out. If you could guess the exact minute and second in this, she fucking pops up, then go ahead. 4.56. She's going to interfere. Four, she's going to be involved at 4.56. All right. It'll be pretty cool if that hits. You're still not getting the belt, though. I'm wearing it. I'll walk out of here with this belt right now. You're going to be like CM Punk. You're going to leave with it, but you're not actually champ. Fuck CM Punk. You'll beat his ass, right? Yeah, 0 and 2. 0 and 2. 0 and 2. You could mushroom stamp your microphone. Okay, what what are we doing here? What are we doing? Yo, yo. <laughs> Get your man's. Get... <laughs> he was taking his head and rubbing it between me and the couch like I, I like trying to get under me I, this this is I'm, you touched your it's dry you touched it twice too you're trying to take blood guys it, it, if you don't see me on the next episode call the police he was like yeah this is my last match just give me all the CT you can do it's bleeding already damn 
He's bleeding bad now. All oh, right in front of his family. Oh, oh it's 446. Yo. <laughs> 10 minutes. Bro, you maybe, were, you got maybe the right I was idea. off. I got 10 minutes for that I interference call. Yeah. And I win. That's it. There's nothing you can do. You don't win. Yeah. You've lost. No. You might as well just give me my no. vote now. No. If Jake wins, you don't get nothing. We tie. It just means we need a tiebreaker. That means you two can hold hands and go dance out in the parking lot. I don't know. I'm He's stretching. I'm going to rip ass on your forehead. No leakage. That's how I would look. Yeah, really. If, if Tyler Ford on me, I look how, da how, how Brian Danielson looks right now. Yeah, it's definitely not real. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine Can't be. Real. He's like, get out of here. They're like, all right, all right. His neck's broken, but yeah, it's okay. His neck's broken, but we're going to let you keep on going. Yeah, you got it. Huh. Shit. The swerve stomp. The swervy stomp. He does the swervy stomp. The stomp. He does the swerve stomp. Where's Bree at? What time is it? 4.55. It's the moment of truth. Oh. He looked at Bree. Oh, I thought he was looking at Bree again. Oh, that would be crazy. He is. He's reaching for Bree. You've got 45 seconds. He said, I'm sorry. It's the, the Shawn Michaels Ric Flair. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Shawn net. Michaels, Ric Flair, calling back. She pulls him out of the ring. One, two, still kicked out. Hey, you still got ten more seconds left. Five. Uh, and four. it's over. <laughs> your bet's over. You lost the title. Just to extend your losing streak. Oh, that looked like a real Slap threat. the dog shit oh out of God, him. God. Slapping the dog shit out of him. Oh my god. Please don't let Swerve win. Let Swerve lose. I hope BD Come wins. On, you're gonna I'm gonna be honest, I don't even give a fuck about the title. Stay. I just want Brian to Brian to fucking win. Yes. Bro. No, your your shoulders. Triangle. Your shoulders. One, two, another kick out. The Hold on though. Hold on though. It's four fifty nine. Bree! Oh, who is that? Oh, no, is that, that Adam Page. Is that Adam Page? Hangman? The fuck? What the hell is Hangman Adam Page doing? Is he gonna screw Swerve? Oh, come on. They don't think that Brian can do it himself? This cheapens B yeah, Brian Danielson's on, win. If Brian wins now, this cheapens his win. He should have been able to do it on his own. This really takes away his moment. Come on, kick out. It. Yes! Fuck. That would have cheapened his win so much if that actually worked. Busaiko knee! Oh, no way. Hit him with two more. Hit him with another one. Oh. Busaiko knee to the back of the neck. LaBelle oh, he's lock. gonna make him tap? No way. Make him tap? Yo, he's gonna tap, bro. Please don't tap. He's gonna tap. Break it, break it, roll he's through. Tap. Roll through, reverse it, roll through. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Right into the... He just broke his finger. He's gonna tap. He's gonna tap. He's gonna no! tap. No! Let's, Let's go. go! Let's go! Oh, wait, I'm still not champ yet. No! Let's go! Daniel Bryan. Let's go! No. Oh, god damn it. So how do Let's we decide go. this? Woo! Let's fucking go. I'm the best in the world! We tied. I don't fucking lose. My, lo my losing percentage is low. I do lose, but I'm never out until it's over. So how do we decide this tiebreaker now? I don't know. Game of rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tyler, I think it's only fair that you decide the tiebreaker. Jake and I both have too much stake in this. I'm in. Why don't you just go on, look up right now what happened on the pre-show and just ask the question who wins and if we if we could see who gets it right. Um, okay. Because I, I have no clue what happened on the pre-show. Like it's an extension of the prediction. All right, so the first one was Goldust's team. Yeah, Dustin Rhodes, Sammy Guevara, Shibata, and the Von Erich. Okay, versus... Brian Cage. Quan. It's K-A-U-N. 
All right, I'm just, I'm I'm just writing down the the first guys. I'm writing down Goldust's team and Brian Cage's team, and then what was the other one? Uh, Willow, Willow and Nightingale and Tommy Hiro Ishii. Was that what you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Versus Chris Statlander and Stokely Hathaway. You make right, me want to just look it you up. Show our answers. And then yeah, let's show our answers and, we'll and I'll look it, it up. Five seconds. All right, three, two. One, I got Goldust team and Willow's team. Right. So we got the same matter. thing. So they they fuck it, won. didn't matter. They, they both won. All right. <laughs> all right. No. <laughs> all right, no, so no, find something no, else. For what? I'm cutting all of that. <laughs> That's all getting cut anyways. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Who won the first ever AEW Dynamite match? Do you want multiple choice? No. No, I'm good. First ever Dynamite. This is for the tiebreaker for who wins the title. All right, you got your answer? Yeah. All right. You want to count us down? Three, two, one, flip. Maxwell Jacob Friedman. <laughs> Jungle Boy. It was Cody Rhodes. Did he beat no the MJF? Uh, it didn't tell me MJF, who I was. swear MJF I was, was in the first Cody ever. Rhodes, bro. Fuck. All right, new question. Let's go. All right, I'm, I'm who is the youngest wrestler to wrestle on AEW Dynamite? I don't know why I keep getting dynamite ones. I'm going to need... We're, we're probably going to need multiple choice youngest, for this. The youngest. Is there multiple choice? The yeah. Ever? Sure. Yeah, we'll take multiple choice. Jungle Boy, Rio, Isaiah Cassidy, Chris Jericho. Well, we know it's not Chris Jericho. All right. Three, two, one. Isaiah Cassidy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is this is we're in quadruple OT right now. Bro. <laughs> New question. Fighting, scratching it out for the title. <laughs> oh my <bro>. god, <laughs> we still got to do predictions for Bash in Berlin. And I'm trying to find ones where it's just I like didn't a. I know who Isaiah Cassie was. So I was like, it's gotta be. Come on. In, in what city did John Moxley wrestle his first AEW match, Dynamite match? Multiple choice. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, Washington D.C., Boston, Massachusetts. Philadelphia, PA, Pittsburgh, PA. All right, and this is for the, the title. title. This is the tiebreaker. Again. Will we finally have an answer? All right, count us down. Three, two, one, turn. I put Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Fuck, Dick, man. Yeah. It was Boston. Oh, my God, yo. There's no way. <laughs> Do we just flip a coin at this point? <laughs> Do you want me to pick heads or tails? <laughs> Do we just flip a coin? Who is I don't the, know. I feel like we're, we're getting close. Who, All right, come on. Give who, us is, one. who is the tallest wrestler in AEW? Fuck, what's his name? What's his name? Like, he could throw... I think he could throw All a right, basketball I got, with I his hands. I got hand. my answer. But you got an answer? Um, All right. Do you want to lock answers in and I'm, be, give I'm, you multiple nah, choice? No, I'm, I'm locked. We could, we could flip, and then you could give us the answers. All right. All right. Count us so, down. So you want all four? Or no, you want just, just the answer. Ju no, 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 just the end. Count us down, right. and then we'll flip. Three, and then get... two, one, flip. Satnam Singh. I was, hope I was hoping his name was Scott. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Brother. My phone shut off. Shut up, brother. Why do you always I'm... fuck everything up. Yeah, really. How <laughs> <I, I laughs> is this like the fourth time? Come on, man. I'm going right back. It's to the it. easiest fucking is it thing Satnam to do. Singh? I'm going right back to it. Do you not remember the remember? names? It doesn't. I have to click on the answer oh for God. it to give. Was it Satnam to Singh me. one of the names that you remember saying? I don't. I don't think. Oh so. Oh my God, That's dude! Probably <laughs> That's probably wrong. Dustin Rhodes was the answer. That's cap. Satnam Singh is much big bigger cast. than Dustin Rhodes. Yeah, really. Luchasaurus, Trent, and I don't remember who the yeah, other. Yeah, but Gold was. Dust is not bigger. He's not well, taller than... Like six, six, it bro. said Dustin Rhodes. It, that, that was the fucking answer. Saddam Singh is like 7'8". All right. Okay, here. We here, have a fucking here. spelling bee for you Give and me. your title. You want to just flip a coin? We, let's flip a coin. Right. We're not, dude. We're, let's all right, you, you get assign, the beer jar. You want to ask Alexa? Yeah, you, as, you assign us assign us a heads and a tails. Just give one of us heads, give one I of us tails. We should pick. What would you rather? No, just let him do it. Heads, tails. Okay, Alexa, flip a coin. Yeah, let's go! I am 0 and 2 and 50 50. Woo! The Fuck championship. You. Why, why, I wanted Tails. I wanted Tails. Woo. Tails never fails. You wanted me and you gave him Tails. That was I'm the so That was the most so difficult win 
of the Hardcore and the Casual podcast. Saddam Singh was definitely the tallest. Could yeah, no, been. that's ridiculous. Yeah. See? Who is the tallest wrestler? That, it's ridiculous. It's not. It's crazy. He's hey, not. Hey, hey. The Big Show don't, has wrestled in AEW. Don't yell at me. Don't yell. When at was me. that quiz don't made? 2019. I don't fucking know. Don't yell at me. All right. Um. So that's that's done and done with. I am your new champion. I will be defending it going into Bash at Berlin. Would we like to quickly do our predictions now for Bash at Berlin? Now sure, that that's all out of the sure, way and sorted. Sure. All right. Thank God. Finally. All right. Bash in Berlin, first match, we will start with the women's tag team titles, Abba Fire and Isla Dawn versus Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair. Who do we have? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. I have Dawn and Fire. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so Jake and I both put, took Dawn and Fire, and this is Tyler took Jade and this is Bianca. This storyline's going to fight. They're going to start fighting mid-fight. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Next up, we've got Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan versus Damian Priest and Rhea Bloody Ripley. No titles on the line? No titles on the line. Interference. Oh, this one's harder. Titles will be on the line. No titles will be on the line. I was about to say, what titles? The Mixed Tag Championship? No, I didn't ask. uh, Did I ask? They should have that. Why don't they have that? They did for a little bit. They need to bring it back. Um, I have no clue who I think yeah, I will win this know. match. So I'm, I'm in shambles. Finn Balor and the Judgment Day are the wild cards here. You know what? Do it. Do it. Uh-oh. Yeah. What, what is he switching from, too? Yeah. All right. You ready? Uh, no, I don't know what he's... I'm not ready. I don't bro. know what he switched at all. I just know he fully erased, so... He changed his mind. I know that. I did change I'm my in. mind. I'm in. I'm in. I can't even write, bro. All right. Three, two, one. You switched to Liv and Dom. I got Dom and Liv. Yep. Yeah. Everyone's got Dom and Liv? Okay, thank God. Like Finn yeah, Balor interference, too. too. Yeah, he that's what I'm like thinking. The, he seems like the most likely. Between... But I feel like Rhea and Damian need a win. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those situations where they yep. need to win, but they're just not gonna. But they'll be fine if there's interference. They, yeah. they, they can't afford a clean loss. All right, next up, CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre in a strap match. I forget Three, how to spell this, but sure. Some, two, along these lines. one, CM Punk. I went Drew McIntyre. Nah. He's, been, he's been in a leather strap match. Yeah, but Drew McIntyre won at the last pay-per-view. CM Punk cannot lose. He, if CM he Punk, already if Punk he already loses. beat CM Punk. Why would he beat him again? If Punk loses, but why he's are they cooked. still going at it? All right, next up we've got Cody Rhodes versus Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. Oh boy, Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens. Yeah, Cody Rhodes versus Kevin Owens. Hey, you better. Oh, I got no, Cody Rhodes. No, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are we I just don't gonna? Know why yeah, 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 are we just going to Cody Rhodes yeah. until Cody we, loses right. the title? I don't see him right. losing another. Yeah, match. We're, we all got Cody Rhodes. That was a pretty easy one. Okay, next. Gunther versus Randy Orton for the world heavyweight title. It, by the way, it's in Berlin. Do we even need to write it? Do we? Do we really? Are you really? Are you gonna make me write it? I got Gunther. Are we gonna keep? Are we gonna really play this game, dude? Or are you just gonna write Gunther and be done with it? Do I want to take Randall? Do you want to? I don't know. Do you want to lose your title? I'm just go, what title? I'm I don't go have a title. Oh, yeah. It's yours. Do you want to lose your opportunity at my title? Come on, Wait, dude. how many more matches are left? I've got one more, but it's just the LA Knight thing, and I just want to... We're, we're going to predict just who's going to be in it, and then we can predict who's going to win the day Because right now, of, we but... have the same answers, which means you're going to win the title regardless. Well, that's why we got the LA Knight prediction. <laughs> All right. So you got Gunther? Oh, man. Uh, wait, for the LA Knight thing, is that going to be a two-point thing? You guess who yeah, it is? Yeah, and... yeah, it'll be... We'll do... I predictions so. for who it's going to be right now, and then day of, we'll we'll predict who's going to win. I yeah, so. I got Gunther as well. Yeah, okay. You got Gunther? Sure. All right, you got Gunther too. All right, that I was easy. Randy in my heart. All right, now LA Knight. Who is going to accept the LA Knight Open Challenge? I, I have not put any thought into this one yet. All right, I got my answer. So what is it? It's just a LA Knight Open it's Challenge? It's LA Knight o- uh, United States Open Challenge. United States. It's for oh, yeah, the title. Right. It's going to be for the uh, the United States title. And then, like I said, we'll predict who ends up winning the match the day of when we do our live reactions next week. Or do we Wait all have second. answers? Does Wait it matter second. about can, brand? I don't can, yeah, I, mean, I want to know. Cause does it matter about brand? Like if somebody No, from like anyone can. 
And okay. if the person from Raw wins, do they go to SmackDown then? Or like, how do Probably. Alright, fuck it. Alright, I got my answer. Three, two, one. I put Ilya Dragunov. I put Sheamus. Jey Uso. Uso, Sheamus. I also put Ludwig Kaiser in the corner. Uh, that's not my pick, but I have a feeling it might be Ludwig Kaiser, because Germany. Um, but I, I've got Ilya Dragunov. Um... So we... If it's neither of them, and you and I end up picking the winners, then we'll make prop bets in the middle. All right. Uh, what's it called? So does that mean who we took we think is going to win? No. Or we're just That's just who, who we gonna think be? is going to be the person that comes out. We'll right. pick who we think is going to win when they, come out? when they come out, no matter who it is. Even if we're wrong about this, right. we'll make our prediction of who we think is going to win. And then uh, if if we both pick the same thing, we'll do prop bets in the middle to try and make ours a little bit different since you and I have the same shit. And Tyler's over here like, ah, I don't give a fuck. I got different answers on almost everything. You got Jade and Bianca, and you have Drew McIntyre. So uh, predict- it looks like it's between you and me again, Jake. How's that feel? Why do you predict the way you predict? Yeah, really. It's so weird. You have the choice to write whatever the answer you want. Do you, th- do you think about, like, what's going on? I don't think he does. I think he's just trying to win one just randomly. Did you take Liv and Dom? You did. Yeah, you did. But, alright, I think that's enough from us. We've been going for way too long at this point. I am I am sweating. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so that is our reactions to AEW All In. That is also our predictions for Bash at Berlin. If you guys have stuck around to the end, thank you. Please comment who you guys think is going to be LA Knight's opponent. Uh, also comment how you think that uh, All In was. Uh, you guys have anything else to say before I sign us off? I feel like we gotta stop bullying Tyler so much. How you feel about that, Tyler? Going to get another colonoscopy soon? Alright, thank you guys for watching the Hardcore and the Casual Podcast. I've been your host, Justin. That has been Jake. This has been our former champ, Tyler. Thank you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, please. Please, we appreciate that. And peace out. I'm gonna go bang my knee on a table. Mayo sausage warfare. (laughs) Ha ha ha.